Today we are going to learn about Bernard of Clairvaux. Bernard was born in 1090 to a knight and his wife. Bernard would become very important in the church and be known as the Honey Sweet Doctor because of his amazing preaching ability. Look at cute little Bernard here as a young monk. His mother believed he would be a watchdog of the church even before he was born. What's up, dog? Look at Bernard here. He's being sent out from his monastery by his abbot, Robert of Molesme. Go make more monasteries, you future honey sweet doctor. Whoa, the years were not kind to the honey sweet doctor. Look how monkish this guy is. Who cut your hair? This is an example of what some of the Cistercian monasteries look like from the outside. You've been busy, honey sweet doctor. The insides of the monasteries were places of piety and learning. Apparently, some had basements under the pulpits where you could sit at your desk while the devil flipped you the digitus impudicus. This is what some of the remains of one of his monasteries look like today. So majestic. Over time, the Honey Sweet Doctor became very influential in the church and was very opinionated. This led him to debating heretical ideas within the church. He's going to smack that pink naked heretic with a stick before the giant blue octopus tentacle gets him. Go, Honey Doctor! You're crazy! Look how important and regal the Honey Sweet Doctor is. Look at that crazy Honey Sweet Doctor getting involved in papal schism. William X, you better support Innocent too, or I will stick these creepy floating baby heads on you. This is Pope Innocent II. He doesn't look so innocent. Look at those beady eyes. Look at that honey sweet doctor preaching. Innocent thought he did such a great job helping him become Pope that he asked him to preach in support of the Second Crusade. Get out of here, knight! Go fight the Muslims! Crusaders take what, he, what they want. Bernard also helped with the organization of the Knights Templar. Go, Knights, go! Charge! Low interest rates to those who are doing God's work. The Honey Sweet Doctor really liked to write and study the Bible. He was also involved in Christian mysticism. Bernard thought that Jesus and Mary and angels would talk to him and help him interpret scriptures. What does this mean, Mary? Honey Sweet Doctor is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that Honey Sweet Doctor hugging a naked Jesus. Whoa, Honey Doctor is nasty. Stop lactating at him, Virgin Mary! Here he is again, talking to Mary and Fat Baby Angels. What does the Song of Solomon mean? Can I have another drink? When Bernard died in 1153, many in the church were saddened at his death, which was shortly after that of his good friend, Pope Eugenius. And a good angel smacked a bad angel with a wet towel. His writings were influential in the Catholic Church for years to come, and also to the reformers of the 16th century. The Honey Sweet Doctor Bernard of Clairvaux.